Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another Decentralized Finance Tutorial. Today we are going to learn how we can use one inch decentralized application on DeFi connected with Ledger. How you can level up your security of your DeFi when you use one inch instead of using hot wallet like MetaMask but using hardware called wallet like Ledger. If you are watching this video, I guess that you already know how important it is to use hard wallets, especially when you're dealing with DeFi and decentralized apps like OneInch, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, SushiSwap, etc. But if you don't know, watch my other video why to learn why it's so important to use this kind of hardware wallet, especially when you have a lot of money in crypto. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button so anytime I post these videos, you will see them as soon as possible. And if you like my content, smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm will expose it to many more people. Now let's get started. We want, I'm assuming that you already have MetaMask wallet because we are going to connect the ledger to the MetaMask wallet itself. And I'm assuming that you already have ledger and set it up and you have the ledger and you know how to use a ledger. It's super, super simple. You have this kind of two buttons with Ledger Nano S. They're going to be on the side. With Ledger Nano X, they're going to be here on front and you basically navigate and click buttons. Super, super simple, super easy. And if not, please watch my other tutorial, how to set up a new ledger. But in that case, I assume that you already have ledger and you set it up. If you don't, check out the link in the description and you can get a ledger for my link and if you want you also support my channel i will get a small commission from the purchase and i will be able to get more editors to scale up my channel create and produce many more videos but the first thing we need to do is to connect our ledger device to the metamask in order to do so you need to download an app called ledger live this is an app that basically the ledger app it works on Mac, Windows, Linux, doesn't matter, every operating system, you download and install it and then you open the app. This is how the app looks like and you can see that if you go here on the left side menu to manager, you will see the information about your hardware device, especially, of course, that it needs to be connected to the computer with a USB and you see the name, the firmware, everything that you need to know, the storage and on the manager itself, there is app catalogs. These are applications that you can actually install on your Ledger device. The application we need to install that will support all the Ethereum blockchains equivalent chains like Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, Phantom, all these kind of blockchains are the same technology of Ethereum blockchain. So we only need, we only need one app and this is the Ethereum ETH app. So we're going to click here install. And now we are installing using the Ledger Live this Ethereum app on the Ledger itself. And you will see in a moment that we see this kind of loading page, loading screen on the ledger itself, because now we install an app on the operating system of the ledger. So we wait until the ledger lab will finish the installation on the ledger of the Ethereum app. Once done, we can close, not can, we need to close the Ledger Live app because now we are going to connect the Ledger to the Firefox browser to the MetaMask extension. Now make sure that you're using Firefox because this kind of feature connecting the hardware wallet to MetaMask, it doesn't work on Google Chrome browser. So you need to use Firefox. There is a bug with Google Chrome, they removed the support and now we can use only Firefox in order to do so. So now you have to understand that the private key resides within the ledger. Every transaction that you will send through the ledger, you will have to approve it twice. Once you will prove it in your MetaMask transaction, MetaMask wallet. And second, you will have a prompt on the ledger device where you will accept and send the transaction. And actually the ledger is only signing the transaction and the MetaMask wallet is the one that connects to the RPC node, to the Web 3.0 application, and he's the one that gets the signed transaction and broadcasts it to the miners, to the blockchain. So this is super important to understand how it works. Now we will go and we will open our, our uh, MetaMask extension. We click here on the left, right uh, avatar, and we'll click connect hard wallet. We're going to connect our ledger device, so we'll pick ledger. And now it's looking for Ledger. At the same time, I'm gonna open the Ethereum app. I will just navigate to Ethereum and 
click these kind of two buttons and now the Ethereum application that, that I just installed using the Ledger Live is open. It will take a while until it finds all the accounts that your ledger has. And once it found the account, you will see them right here. And now it asks you what kind of accounts you want to connect to the MetaMask wallet because you have a lot of accounts, multiple accounts. You can go next, previous, until you find your account. If it's brand new ledger, then it doesn't really matter. But usually I like to pick the first one. And if you already have some Ether or BNB on your ledger, make sure to pick the account that contains the tokens. I will just pick the first one because it doesn't really matter. I'll click unlock. Now, congratulations, your ledger device is connected. Your hardware world is connected to MetaMask and now you can start signing transactions and sending them to DeFi applications like one inch. Now we are going to one inch and the first thing that we need to do is we will connect our wallet. So I read and I want actually to use Binance Smart Chain, but you can do it with Ethereum, Polygon, Optimizing. All the chains are very, very similar to Ethereum, so it will work in all the cases, but I have already some BNB on my wallet, and also the transaction fees are super low in Binance Smart Chain, so I'm showing, showing you the example using Binance Smart Chain. I'm clicking here to connect my wallet, and now I will be asked which wallet I want to connect. I want to pick the ledger device because this is what we're going to do. We're going to send transaction through this ledger device. So you can see this is the native account that was created when I created the MetaMask wallet. And this is the ledger device that we just connected. So I'll click here next and connect. Now it will ask me to add the Binance Smart Chain. So I will add the Binance Smart Chain to the MetaMask wallet. And now my ledger device is connected to the browser to the MetaMask extension. You can see right here that it's connected and I have 0.0179 BNB. So now we'll send a transaction, but it will not work because the first thing you need to go to do is inside the Ethereum app, go to settings and you need, you see that right now blind signing is not enabled. We will need to click the two buttons in order to change it to enabled. If we'll not do it actually, uh, we will not be able to send transactions to the ledger and now we click back after we enabled it. This is super, super important. Make sure to do it or you will not be able to send transactions. Now, let's switch BNB with some cake tokens. So I'm going to pick here cake and let's just switch a little bit of BNB. So we will just change it to zero. Just and this one we change also to zero zero. So we're gonna change only half dollar from BNB to cake just for the example. And I will of course choose pancake swap because the slippage is lower. And I'm gonna click swap. Now sign and proceed. Usually when you have these kind of things and you are using MetaMask, you will just click here sign and it will go through and the transaction will be sent to the blockchain. But in that case, we are sending the transaction, remember, to the ledger device. So once I click sign, the transaction will not be sent to the blockchain, but I will get a prompt here, sign message. So I will click here until we go all the way right until I see here sign message and I will click this kind of two buttons and only by approving with the ledger device itself, the transaction will be sent and confirmed. Now I'll click confirm swap. And again, there is a prompt in the MetaMask wallet. I will click confirm. And again, I will have a prompt on my ledger device. Wait a moment until you see the prompt. I don't have it. There you go. Review transaction. I have to approve it twice. Once in the MetaMask and once in the ledger, I'm going to go all the way right until I find accept and send. Once I find accept and send, I'm going to send the transaction, confirm. And now actually you leveled up your security. The transaction has been sent only after confirmed twice on the MetaMask and on the ledger. So if someone hacks your computer, if someone steal your private key from the browser, then or you lose your computer and someone get it, he will not be able to use your wallet because he needs also the ledger device and the pin code that you have supplied in order to unlock it. So this is super simple tutorial. I hope this guide helped you. And if it helped you, consider subscribing and smashing the like button. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below and I will be, I will be more than happy to help you out and solve all the problems that you have. 
Thank you so much once again for watching my videos and learning with me in journey time and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.